Hi, Coach Bill Say, Mr. Compete. In this video, we're going to talk about the importance of time management. Okay, if you're going to be a competitive athlete, like it's, you're going to have to invest time, okay? And you're going to have to consistently invest time. Okay, there's not a situation, if you're going to be a competitive athlete, it's not a situation where you're regularly taking days off. It's about habits and routine, right? You have to be in good work habits, right? You have to be in some type of workout program, right? You have to manage your time, right? You can't be saying, oh, I don't have time for that. You you make time. So the pandemic started in March. I remember that that June, I started going out and doing workouts with, with groups of kids. You know, I go to their house, do workouts. So I had this one particular group of kids, four kids, all about even, okay? Friends, they're all about even and skill-wise. Maybe one kid a little bit less than the others, okay? But they're pretty decent athletes, you know? So I talked to them about, okay, what do you do? It's the summertime, right? They weren't in school. So I said, what did you, what did you do yesterday? And the kid says, well, I get up around 9 o'clock, I had breakfast, I uh, went and rode my bike, I went swimming, I had a baseball game at night. Then I asked the other kids, well, and, and pretty much the same thing. I went fishing, I rode my bike, I had a baseball game, you know? So it was, it was pretty much that type of stuff, all four of them. And I said, geez, none of you guys play video games. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, we all play video games. I said, well, you didn't play any video games? None of you guys played video games yesterday? Oh, yeah, 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 we play video games. I said, well, you didn't mention that. Yeah, we play video games. I said, okay, so how much video games did you play yesterday? I guess I didn't play that much. I said, well, how much is that? An hour and a half. So an hour and a half is a slow day for you video-wise, video game-wise. Yeah, okay. And I asked each, each and every one of them the same thing. And then I asked them, if I give you a workout today that you can do for 45 minutes every day, how many days a week can you do it? And one kid was like, I don't know, two days. The other kid was like, uh, I don't know, three days. And the other kid was like two days. And then one kid said seven. I said, oh, you can do it seven days? Yeah, he goes, I'll do it seven days. I'm like, good, because if you do this four or five times a week, you'll get better. If you do it less than that, it's not really going to help you, right? You need to get in a routine. You need to make the time. If you're playing a minimum of an hour and a half, two hours of video games a day, some of these kids are playing five, six hours of video games a day, okay? If you take your video game time and you apply it to, like, real life, like, <laughs> like don't you want to be better in, like, real life? You're going to be better. So uh, one of those kids... He did. He he was doing it seven days a week. And after a couple of weeks, you could see the difference. You could see the improvement. In two months, right by the end of that summer, I had to move him out of that group. He was so much better than the other kids because he changed his habits. He listened, right? He said, you know what? I'm going to do it. He did it. And he just improved like that. He was twice as good as the kids as he was two months earlier. And these kids that were like his peers athletically and kind of the same as him couldn't even stop him. And now he's playing with high school guys. He's in seventh grade. He's playing against ninth ninth graders. Okay, so he he took right. He took his his time and he looked at what he was doing with his time, and he said, "You know what? I'm going to take time from that, and I'm going to put it towards this. Right? I'm going to take time from video games, and I'm going to make sure I make time for basketball for skills." Okay, that all he did was work on his skills, work on his skills, and then come to play three on three or play in his rec league or whatever. He just he just made that commitment, right? To to make the time. That's what time management is. So if you are in school, all right, when you're talking about time management, there's things you have to do and there's things you have choices to do, right? You have to go to school, right? Some parents make it make you go to church. Okay, so you gotta do those things. Okay? But everything else is kind of your, should be your decision. What am I going to do? Am I going to play video games or am I going to go work on my dribbling? Am I going to play video games or am I going to go play three on three? Am I going to play video games or am I going to go work on my ball handling? Am I going to go video games or am I going to go to the bank? I mean, these are decisions that you make and they affect how good you become. So if every, if every other day you're going, I don't feel like doing it and you don't go, to the batting cage or to the gym or do what you're supposed to do, then that's one day that you've wasted towards getting towards your goal. But if you consistently, you know, like younger kids, seventh grade, sixth grade, I mean, 45 minutes a day, 45 minutes to an hour a day working on your skills, 
and you do that consistently over a month's period, you're going to see a huge improvement. But the problem is most kids don't make that commitment. They make excuses, right? And you can't make excuses if your goal is to be a competitive athlete, a successful competitive athlete. Because if you don't put 100% in it, now you're going to have to rely all on your athleticism. Hey, maybe you're a good enough athlete. Well, good for you. But at some point, it's going to come down to skill, right? As you go up levels, skill always matters, okay? So if you want to be a competitive athlete, then you have to plan your day, right? So you go to school, you come home from school, maybe get your homework done right away, then get your workout in, right? Then eat, and then you rock, you got the night to relax, right? You want to play video games, you play them at night. I'm not saying you don't play video games. Just don't do it instead of working out. Right? Instead of trying to get better in real life. While it's fun to win a video game, I guess. I, I, I've never done it, but if, if you think it's fun to win a video game, think how fun it's going to be in real life to go out and win a big game. Right? In real life, to be excited, go against a good team in front of a big crowd, win a, win a big game. That's exciting. That's why you pay the price. So to do that, you got to learn to manage your time. So don't make excuses make time for what you think is important. So if you decide to go play video games instead of going working out, then you're deciding that video games are more important than basketball or, or whatever your sport is. And if that's the decision you're making, then you can't whine and moan when you don't make the team or you make the team and you're not playing. Okay? So it's really up to you to take that free time that you have and prioritize what's important to you. And then Whatever is the most important to you, make time for it. Okay, so set your goals, right? Manage your time, commit to your workouts, and commit to compete. I'll see you in the next video.